Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Ellie. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a little project that I created and it's going to be this little Christmas pail box right here and it's so cute. I love how it turned out and I did this using paper and then I also used the sticker from the Doodlebug collection. I used some trim and some ribbon for the handle and I love it and this is perfect for you know, storing like cookies that you bake. You can put them in some like little tissue. You can put candy in there. If you're gonna do something heavier, I would recommend maybe like a cardboard um, bottom surface so that it um, holds it a little better. And then just be sure that the glue that you use is pretty sturdy so that nothing falls apart on you, as well as the string. Just make sure everything's nice and tight. But I love how it turned out and I'm gonna share it with you guys. This is perfect for your kids or if you're having like any type of birthday party, you can design this yourself if you're not inviting too many kids. Um, and then these are again, like I said, these are perfect for Christmas as well. So you can put a bunch of like little Christmas goodies in there. But let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're gonna need is some paper and this is the paper that I picked out. It's the same one as the box that I currently use just because I want to show you guys some options. I also have my glue gun heating up. I have my ATG gun. I also got some ribbon for my handles. I got the green trim. I have my hole puncher, my scissors, my bone folder. And then the thing that you're gonna need is your scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, just use the same measurements that I'm using and you should be okay. And then any type of stickers, embellishments that you want to decorate your box with. But that's it, you know, pretty simple. I think we pretty much all have this stuff on hand. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and measure every four inches. So I have my scoreboard and my scoreboard starts right here. So I measured four inches and I scored down the line. And then I took it over to eight inches and then I scored down the line. And then if you turn it over, it doesn't matter which way, it lines the same direction. You can do the same thing, score over four inches score over eight inches and you should have um, a bunch of little squares. So you have nine squares and then pretty much what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and fold. I don't need my scoreboard right now so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take your, um, your paper and you're gonna score it. Sorry, I mean you're gonna fold it down and just use your bone folder so that the line is nice and, you know, neat. And same thing here. So just keep scoring. It's such a cold day here in Chicago today. It's insane how cold it is. So just follow your lines. If you wanna do this first so that you're not like doing each square, you can do that too. But yeah, okay. So perfect, so now your paper should look like this. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and then you're gonna check your squares to see how you want them all to land. So what I'm doing is I'm overlapping the bottom, I mean the first, second, and third. And then you should have that. Just like that. Okay, and then the same thing on this side. If you can see my dog, he just popped out on the chair. I don't think you'll be able to see him. All right, see, so that's what it's gonna look like. So you're gonna go ahead and start putting all your adhesive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put adhesive on all four corners. So I'm just doing the two ends at the moment.
Again, just put as much adhesive as you feel like you need to. Oops. All right, perfect. And we got some adhesive on here. So Perfect, so now I'm gonna take each square. Just make sure everything is nice and tight. All right, there we go. So hopefully I stayed in frame, but you're gonna go ahead and just make sure everything is nice and sturdy. And there you go. So you have your top, your base of your box. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and um, you're gonna take your box and you're gonna measure, you know, it's four inches, so you're gonna have to make sure that you measure it half because this is where we're gonna put our, our um, punch hole. Home punch. There. And there we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take my hole punch. Oh, I did it to the wrong side. You want to do it to the side that doesn't have um, all the paper because. Well, at least for me, my whole punch is, the, it won't do more than like three pa papers. So you have to do it on the thin layer. Let's try this again. And then this way, at least you'll know that your box will be somewhat even. There you go. Okay, so now that your box is ready, now you can go ahead and then see how mine is a little off right there? You can just go ahead and cut it if you want to. Uh, maybe use the X-Acto knife. Uh, or you can just, um, you know, put trim around there too and then it won't even be noticeable. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our string. And I think for this one, I'm going to use the white one. Alright, so then you're going to go ahead and tie. I'm going to put it for... Actually, let's go ahead and do the trim, sorry. So we're going to put trim all around the box. Okay, so I told you guys that I got this new glue gun, and I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. I kind of like it, I kind of don't. I feel like it wastes so much glue, but, um, and then it feels like it doesn't really glue that well. I mean, it does glue good, it's just, uh, I don't know, it feels really light. It feels like it uses all my glue. There we go, so I added all the trim, and then you can just go ahead and cut whatever like strings you don't want to show. So just give it a little haircut. Just make sure that everything looks nice and even. Like this one sticking out right here. There we go. It's super cute, it looks really nice. And even just with this alone, it gives it a really nice touch. But let's go ahead and add our ribbon. For this one, I'm gonna use the white one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take
take your bottom string so that the knot is inside. You're going to take your bottom string and you're going to tie it down. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. You're just going to bring it down this way and that it should be in the inside. And then tie one more loop. And then even if you want to secure it, you can put a little bit of hot glue and it should be secure. But I think that should do the trick. Alright, and then just take it again. And remember, you're tying downwards so that the knot is in the inside. Let's do it one more time. Sorry, that scar in my hand does not look pretty. There you go. And this string is slightly longer, so I'm just going to cut it a little bit just so that it looks even from the inside. There you go. And there you have your string. And the shorter you have it, the more sturdier it'll be. If you have it slightly taller, it'll just flop a little bit, like it'll lean more to one side. But it looks really cute. Um, so let's go ahead and do our sticker. And we're just about done. That is basically the base of everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little happy holiday right here. And then I'm gonna take one of my little foam stickers because they're so cute and because I have so many of these I think I'm gonna use the gingerbread right there <laughs> it looks like he has hair and then you can even use the little candy cane if you want Hmm. Yeah, maybe I don't need it. I already took the sticker off though. What do I do? <laughs> I just put it on this side. And then we'll do one more. make sure everything's nice and stuck on there but that's it guys so I put two little candy canes on the side if you want to you know do other things you can maybe like you could do like a little star or you can even do like another word but that's it guys I, it was super simple super quick and easy I love how it turned out I hope you guys did too as always you know what to do give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram at Ellie underscore plan with me where I share all of my creations. Love you guys. I'll see you next time.